Psst, psst. It, it's that time of the month. I, I heard the progress report just came out. It's right, it's right hot off the press. Do, do you want to see it? I, I have exclusive access right back here. You, you just have to come into my crawl space and I can show it to you. Yeah, yeah, just come right back here and we can take a look at it together. Per perfect, just come right this way. Alrighty, yeah, and see, look, it's right there. Progress report number 10. Given the chaotic roadmap ahead, it has become increasingly difficult to maintain the current reporting format. See, I didn't lie to you. The progress report is right here, and it's all ready to go. But yeah, let's go ahead and just, you know, start taking a look at it. Uh, preview image on this one kind of just looks like uh, Julia painting her nails. I believe she's one of, if not the only character we see actually with uh, black uh, painted fingernails in the game. So I'm like, all right, unless it's, you know, Ashley or Andrew for whatever reason deciding to spice things up, it's probably just her fingernails here right on the covered image. And then opening it up, we have the format changes, remarks, and survey. So yeah, so there will be a survey at the end of this. Uh, but in the first image, we have, it looks like Andy and Lele talking with a guy, a stranger, who's just like, ah, hello, would you like to hear my entire life story? And uh, either you can enthusiastically be like, hell yeah, or uh, <laughs> politely decline him with a hell no. And yeah, it looks like the first bit of information we can kind of glean off of this image is that the uh, characters that we are seeing in here are currently placeholders, with the downward facing triangles being male and the upward facing triangles being female. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to see if we're going to keep the placeholders through to the uh, final product because they are kind of funny to look at. But, you know, I expect we'll probably get actually fully fledged characters like the ones that we see at the gas station. Um, but it looks like we'll be returning to the eatery in which we ate in Chapter 2 with the cultist hideout down in the alleyway there. Looks like it's starting to be fall time. We got some costumes in the windows. The trees are kind of losing their leaves. But uh, the reason for us actually returning here is a bit unknown. Maybe it's for, you know, the motel, you know, through the bridge there or just as a pit stop on our way to, you know, continue to murder people and commit cannibalism. You know, the usual fun stuff that happens in this game. But also in actuality, with all the other, like, cult-related imagery that we've seen, we're probably going back to the cult for some reason or another. Whether we're trying to get their help again, do another summoning ritual like we did in Chapter 2, or, you know, trying to join them. I mean, we, we, we had those images of us in, like, the cultist dormitory, so who knows? You know, endless possibilities at this time. I know there are some people on the subreddit kind of piecing everything together, so it is kind of interesting seeing uh, all the different images of uh, the different progress reports kind of put together and slowly piecing together maybe a, a bit of the story that will be going on in Chapter 3. But then right below, we have Andy and Ashley in the gas station with Ashley just being like, what, what, baby? I, I said I'm not pregnant. So, uh, yeah, sus stuff going on in this chapter, maybe. But, I mean, it could also be them trying to, you know, bamboozle them in some sort of way where Andy's like, all right, uh, yeah, yeah, the baby, play off whatever we're trying to do is uh, you pretending to be pregnant. Because, I mean, we do have, like, the officers in the gas station. You know, we have the security camera, which might be the one that we saw from the previous progress report. So, who knows? Maybe uh, they try and steal something, they get caught, they try and play it off as Ashley being pregnant for whatever they, like, stuffed and stuffed under her shirt or whatever or i mean this could be leading to that other image of both of them in the bathroom because we do see the wash closet right behind them with the you know officer standing in front of it so you know this could kind of be maybe a multiple choice thing where it's like oh pretend to steal or you know walk away normally and you know we kind of see the outcome of that in some of the other progress report images kind of depending on what we choose or do not choose and I know a portion of the Coffin of Andy and Lele audience wants this scene to be after they bing bing wahoo during the burial ending. But from what I've kind of been spoiled on for this progress report, it doesn't seem like that's going to be uh, what any of these images reference here. It seems like these are all in reference to Decay. But let's go ahead and read on and see about those uh, spoilers here. Alrighty, and then reading ahead, we have the Kit9 Studio Progress Report, Format, Challenges, and Changes. Given the chaotic roadmap ahead, it has become increasingly difficult to maintain the current reporting format. In our monthly meeting with the author, some decisions have been made about trying a different approach to our posting format. We will be moving away from focusing on progress reporting. Oh no, so I mean, these might be slowing down, or I mean, what they're about to say. 
posts will now be some variation or mix of things such as teaser content, major announcements, surveys, responses, and sometimes author commentary if time permits. And that this added flexibility will help with what to publish at month's end, as there isn't always enough interesting information to report on specific areas of work. Okay, so we're still getting the monthly updates, it might just not be the progress reports that we are used to. And this will be the last progress report, and titles will vary with the uh, content provided. Well, so welcome to the last progress report, party members. And we'll conclude this old format with some entries in the new format, this month the author's account of the episode work, and a survey regarding release options. The dividing point of the episodes is resolved, but a delivery dilemma still remains. Author, recap and survey, dun dun dun. Previously on Progress Report. Episode 3A far exceeds the estimated playtime, six hours and counting. Holy crap, that's going to be a massive episode. Episode 3A is split in two to alleviate the discrepancy between episode sizes, creating episode 4. Episode 3A and 4 are still meant to be shipped together to provide a conclusive narrative experience. Team considers releasing 3A alone to keep the game alive. Author refuses, as episode 3 ends on a cliffhanger no matter where it's cut. Author flip-flops between releasing 3A alone versus forcing everyone to wait until the entirety of the branch is complete. And the decision is reached that if the audience wants to torture themselves with a cliffhanger, let them. You are here. Oh, alright, I guess, fine. If that's what you want, we will go there. Alright, we are here. Perfect. And then we have the poll. Question for the audience. Do you want to torture yourself with a cliffhanger? No, I'm patient. Yes, I'm a masochist. Oh, that's us. We're a masochist. Yes. A masochist haven back on the scene. Or, to put it another way, would you rather wait for episode 3A and 4 to be shipped together as God intended, or would you prefer getting episode 3A early by itself, even though it ends on a cliffhanger? Oh, Nemli God confirmed. Oh, we are shrinking while scrolling. That is not as intended. And then we kind of have a repeat, wait until the entirety of the branch is complete, episode 3A plus 4, or release episode 3A alone despite the cliffhanger. By the way, episode is decay, oh, okay, yep, yep, that, that makes a lot more sense as to why people are like, uh, yeah, th this probably isn't as it seems. So we are getting decay first, not burial. So it's kind of, I mean, what we were like talking about before. Where, uh, yeah, we get Decay first, and then we'll be wrapping up with Burial in the end. And that development for Burial 3B has not even started. Dun dun dun. And then you can cast your vote in the discussion thread, so... Yes, if you want to go vote, definitely go do so, let your voice be heard. And with worst regards, the author. Well, at least for me, I'm glad we're getting Decay first. I don't know, I feel like it'll be a much better narrative experience, kind of getting the more normal, maybe, Decay route from 3A into 4, and then kind of wrapping it up with the unhinged burial ending. But at least for me, my vote is to ship it right now. Yes, I'm in the masochist camp here, because I think, at least for now, we get 3A. That'll give us enough time to kind of tide over before 4 comes out so the game doesn't completely die out, especially if it is one where we're waiting another five, six months for episode four to come out. I feel like you're gonna lose a lot of that community momentum that the game has right now. So dropping 3A, we get to play it now, you know, get some hype back into the community. People will start speculating what they believe will happen in episode four, more community content, more fun stuff, and then four will come out, giving the author some more time to kind of work on 3B, so on and so forth. But, I mean, that that's at least my opinion on it. And then we have one final thing to do, and that is to watch the YouTube clip. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, load that on up here. Alrighty, and then we have the episode preview, Be Nice. But Andrew? Y yeah. Andrew? Uh, uh-huh, what's up? Be nice to me, Andrew. Uh, aren't I? Uh, <laughs> give us a hug, us. I, I don't mind, but why? No reason. And then uh, we get a hug. We are getting along, right? We're fine. Hmm. Uh, did you find a handle yet? Mm, he didn't kiss my hair. It's a cardinal sin not to kiss the hair. But <laughs> in more all seriousness, it looks like this is taking place in the spirit realm. We kind of see the floating island here with the tower going up. This could be the exterior of the tower that we saw before. 
the one kind of with the staircase that's like suspended in midair with all the cultish drawings all over it. And then we see a Saturn-esque planet in the background with another moon on the opposite side, or at least what's assumed to be a moon. So who knows, maybe the demon realm is in outer space because there's <laughs> weird clouds, uh, different planets, different moons, fake moons, and a tower. So, you know, all, all the usual stuff that you expect to see in outer space. But yeah, it looks like maybe this is going to be part of the quote-unquote puzzle mechanics of, you know, do something, find the handle, I don't know, rescue the moon. <laughs> Instead of blowing up the moon, we're looking to save the moon this time. But yeah, the episode preview definitely feels more from the Decay ending, because we do kind of have, you know, Andrew not being as affectionate towards Ashley, and then as well, her kind of questioning things, being like, um, why isn't he acting this way? Why isn't he giving me the love and affection that I want? But I guess we shall see just what exactly the community votes for. I mean, I'm hoping that uh, everyone goes the masochist route and decides to, you know, hopefully have the chapter release sooner. But, you know, if we have to wait, it's not the end of the world. We'll just, you know, keep posting the progress reports like we are doing. Well, I guess not progress reports anymore. The community updates or whatever they end up calling them. But that about does it for this progress report number 10. Uh... <laughs> Hopefully everyone's not too confused as to why I'm living in your walls and eating your snacks, but, uh, well, if you need more context on that, there's a whole Mario 64 video that, I don't know, doesn't really dive into it, but th that's where it began. So definitely check that out if you are interested. I don't know, it it's weird. Alrighty, and to wrap it up, I just want to say thank you so much for coming out and watching this progress report, everyone. Definitely let me know what poll result you end up choosing down in the comments below, and I hope to see you in the next one next month whenever uh, we get the next update and hopefully some new, interesting, exciting content. Have a good one, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>